Hello everyone, it's my great honor to present our work Convex Geometric Motion Planning on Lead Groups via Moment Relaxation. Keynote Dynamic Motion Planning is fundamental in robotics research. These problems are usually non-convex due to the complicated constraints. One natural question is, how can we obtain a globally optimal solutions or a certificate of global optimality? The local search based method based on gradients are very fast, but the solution quality really depends on how good the initialization is. The sampling based methods can return a solution in reasonable time, but it may also run forever if the solution doesn't exist at all. While the global optimization methods are not subject to initial guesses and are complete to obtain the certificate of optimality or infeasibility. But why current global optimization methods doesn't scale well? One problem is that robot models does not exactly fit into these methods, and another problem is the structure of these methods are not fully explored. To solve these issues, we consider geometric robot dynamics and formulate the dynamics as sparse polynomials. By then, uh, we leverage the Lazarus hierarchy of moment relaxation to obtain the global optimal solutions uh, with semi-definite programming. Uh, we say a problem is polynomial optimization if they have polynomial objective function and constraints. Consider this polynomial basis and the moment matrix. We find that the constraints and objective functions are both convex functions of moment matrix. The Lazarus hierarchy states that we can monotonically approximate the global optimal solutions via a sequence of the DPs with increasing size. Finally, if the rank condition of the solution of the SDP is satisfied, uh, we can use it to certify the global optimality. For fixed relaxation order couples, the SDPs can be solved in polynomial time, and that is quite efficient. Now the question is, how to formulate the robot dynamics as polynomials? Uh, the conventional joint coordinates formulations doesn't give us polynomial dynamics, but the Lie group based uh, robot models uh, is exactly quadratic. We find that the SE3 manifold uh, is just a quadratic function of the configuration states, uh, but the conventional integrations uh, induces exponential map. To solve these issues, we instead leverage the legal variational integrators to discretize the systems. Uh, we approximate Lagrangian and apply variational principles both in discrete time. If we consider a single rigid bodies, we find that the dynamics is exactly quadratic. Finally, we find that only the states at consecutive time step will appear in the same moment matrix with same, uh, in same constraints. Uh, therefore, uh, we do not need to consider a full dense, matri dense matrix, uh, but a number of uh, smaller ones that, uh, that is linear with respect to the planning horizons. We verify the sparse polynomial optimization method on inverse kinematics problems that have analytical solutions. We take samples in the task space with random orientations. We find that the second order relaxation is sufficient to provide infeasibility detection for all the infeasible cases and accurate post recoveries for almost all the feasible cases. Although we find that we still have a small number of failed cases that suffer from numerical issues. We further tested the algorithm on inverse kinematics problems with randomly generated manipulators to verify the time complexities. We find that the proposed algorithm indeed have linear time complexities, uh, which is impossible compared with other methods. Finally, we tested the algorithm on a 12 degrees of freedom joint actuated by total thrust force and the net torque in the body frame. We initialize the joint from same places with different pitch angles and apply a path to land to the origin while avoiding the obstacles. We find that for either cases, the rank one optimality condition is satisfied while for harder cases, the relative optimality gap is still small. We find that the second order relaxation is sufficient, while the numerical issue is still a problem for us. To sum up, by proper geometric formulations, we could convert kinodynamic motion plannings to sparse polynomial optimization that can be solved with certified optimalities. 
Thank you.